Hey cryptocurrency market, it's Denny Lovejoy, your favorite blockchain tutorial, Jedi Master, and in this video, I'm sharing with you how to set up a quantum wallet. The first step is to find the correct domain. The way I'm gonna do that in this video is by going on coinmarketcap.com first. So I'll go ahead and do that in the search. I'll go to coinmarketcap.com and I'm gonna search this list until I find quantum. Okay, great, so quantum's right here. We're gonna click it and we're gonna scroll down until we see the website here and we're gonna click that and it's telling us that the website is quantum.org. I am gonna double check right here to see that it is a HTTPS website and that it's verified and secure by looking at this green padlock. And another way I could find the website is by going to their Twitter profile. And the way I could find that is on coinmarketcap.com. After you click quantum here, you'll see that there's a social plug right here. So go ahead and click that. Scroll down again and you'll see that they're promoting the quantum official Twitter profile. So I'll go ahead and click that. And as you can see on the screen, they have 172,000 subscribers or followers. And the link that they're promoting is quantum.org. It looks like Qtum or quantum. I'm hearing a lot of people from the community say quantum. So that's how I'm pronouncing it in this video. So if you click that, it takes us back to quantum.org. So that checks out. And that's how you find the correct domain. I went on CoinMarketCap and I checked their Twitter page. So the next step now is to choose the correct wallet. And the way you do that is you go back to the Quantum website and you go straight to wallet here on the top next to forum and tech and click it. And as you can see here, they have multiple options. They have wallets for desktops, mobile, web, or hardware. In this video, I'm just gonna show you how to set up the desktop wallet. And the way you do that is by scrolling down to right here where it says official, and I'm gonna click more. And it does take me to the GitHub site, but before I talk about that, I do want to note that Quantum Core is the official website for Quantum and Quantum Core is developed and maintained by the main developers of Quantum. So that's why I'm using this wallet. And if you go back here to the GitHub, once you land on this GitHub, you'll scroll down to the assets and we're going to be looking for the DMG file to choose. So it looks like it's gonna be this one right here, quantum osx unsigned.dmg. That's the only DMG file they have here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that to get started downloading it, which is step number three, download the wallet. I'm gonna click that right now. And you'll see on the bottom left side of my screen that it's downloading. And it's gonna take about 45 seconds to download. Okay, perfect. So the quantum download did download. And the next step, step number four, is to install the wallet. So we're gonna go ahead and click this download right here and watch it open. And it's asking me to add this application to my applications folder. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'm gonna double click on this icon to start opening it. It says here Quantum Core can't be open because it is from an unidentified developer. I'm gonna click OK. And the way you get around that is by this. Uh, first, I'm gonna exit out of here and I'm gonna minimize my screen here and I'm gonna minimize this. Okay, so the proper way to open the Quantum Core wallet is to go to your finder, then go to your applications, and then find the Quantum Core application in your folder, 
you're going to want to right click it and then click open. And I'm going to exit out of this for now and wait for it to upload. It's asking me, are you sure you want to open it? And now it gives us an option to click open. So I'm going to do that. Okay, so it says, welcome to Quantum Core. It's asking me where I want to store a copy of the blockchain right here. And I'm going to stick with the default option here. So I'm just going to click OK. And it's loading up. Here's what it looks like. This is the Quantum Core wallet. As you can see on the screen, it's still syncing. And it may take quite a while for that to happen. I'm not exactly sure how long it's going to take for you and your computer. However, in order to use it, you do want to wait for it to completely sync. In this video, I'm just going to click hide here, this blue button on the bottom right. And now you're looking at the user interface for the Quantum Core wallet. In this video, I am not going to be talking about how to send Quantum or receive it. I'm not going to talk about how to back it up or protect it or even update it. In this video, I am just talking about how to download and install the wallet. This brings me to step number five, which is to verify that you can open and close the wallet. So allow me to show you how that looks like. What I'm going to do is bring my recording screen to the top left. And as you can see, because I have my Quantum Core wallet up, I'm going to click Quantum Core on the top here, and then I'm going to click Quit Quantum Core. And now it's shutting down. The way you reopen it is by going to your Finder, then going to your Applications, and then finding the Quantum Core application. So it's right here for me, and I'm going to right-click it and then click Open. And I'm going to exit out of that. And voila, there you go. You officially and successfully downloaded and installed the Quantum Core wallet. If you like watching these types of tutorials, go get yourself a copy of the Cryptocurrency Investing Blueprint. You could learn more at cryptocurrency.market slash blueprint, and you could get 10% off it by using my promo code DENNY2018. You could look at the display address right here on the screen and take a screenshot of it, or you could check out the link in the description below. You could follow us on Twitter, and you could find my handle at Denny Lovejoy. And thank you so much for watching my blockchain tutorial on how to set up a quantum wallet. If you have any comments or suggestions for future videos, give me a message on Twitter. Thanks again and have a wonderful day.